I'll just give everyone a moment to jump on. I know a few of you have been here. And just the top of this, I just want to say I'm so sorry for the stuffiness. <laughs> um, I know there's a cold front coming in for many of you who are around the world and uh, in the U.S. And it's been cold here. So whether you caught a cold or it is freezing where you're at, um, I hope you guys are doing well. And uh, I hope you guys can hear me clearly. So I'll just get started. Hey everyone, it's Tiana from the Maniology team here with our weekly live. Every Tuesday at 1.30 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time, you can find us here on another nail snapping journey. Whether it's a tutorial, technique, or hack, we're here to discuss the details and we're so happy you could join. And thank you everyone who's joining me for the very first, uh, my first video for the year. Happy New Year. Hope you all are doing well and staying well. <laughs> um, I saw a lot of people who entered into our Jolly Give Miss giveaway and a lot of responses for the kind of topics you guys would like us to speak about. Actually, a lot of those I feel like we've covered, but uh, we'll definitely go through them. We have a lot of topics uh, that we could definitely talk about. Many of you are interested in reverse stamping and we actually have a lot of really good videos on our YouTube channel. So go ahead and check that out. And if you're new here or you're just joining in, joining in for a live, welcome. I normally don't sound like this, but don't forget to subscribe. We love um, our subscribers. We love growing our channel. And if you find any of the information here to be entertaining, educational, inspirational, then go ahead and subscribe. Also drop in any of your thoughts in the comments. I will do my best to uh, take a look at the chat and see if there's anything I can address. If not, uh, Devin is here. Brandy says I sound stuffy. I'm definitely, definitely stuffy. So um, I'm sure <laughs> that uh, it's, it's going to be, uh, we're, we're just going to see how I do. So I hope I can just, I'm coming in clear enough that you guys can hear me. <clears throat> so today I see some questions. What is peach fuzz? Um, which is funny because my husband asked me exactly the same thing. Earlier he had called me and he was like, what are you talking about today in your life? And um, very interested, which I was so, that was so cool. But um, if you guys didn't hear, 2024's color of the year from Pantone is called Peach Fuzz. So I wanted to sit down here and introduce the color to you guys um, and kind of give maybe a general rundown of what Pantone is saying about the color. I can already see and, um, you know, usually when there is a color of the year, that color is translated throughout many, many different markets. We'll be seeing it through digital, through... Um, fashion through merchandising all kinds of stuff so if you haven't already seen it in your local stores or your marketplaces or like malls and stuff i'm almost sure that you're going to is some version of it and so that's kind of the that's what today is going to be about i'm also going to give three palettes um or like colorways that i decided to go um ahead with this look and i'm going to show you like three stamp designs that uh we're going to do today using kind of like the general the general color so this color obviously is is on a spectrum but basically panto kind of describes this color um uh, i have i feel like this is probably the closest now i'm so sorry so so sorry because this is a color that actually we no longer carry. However, if you have been a customer of ours for a very long time, this actually might be a color that you have in your collection. But <clears throat> if you're curious, it's called Booyah. Um, it was from a collection we carried a long time ago. And actually, I had a sample, so I decided to, to use it. So um, <laughs> let's see. So Pantone, they describe, you know, the color of the year as a subtle, sensual peach hue symboli symbolizing kindness, tenderness, and a desire for togetherness. This color, to me, and, and also the way that it's described, which I'll go into that a little bit more, 
has everything that's like warm, fuzzy, and just togetherness, which I think is really interesting given the fact that this is my very first video back. And also, you know, over here, we're always talking about building community. So it's kind of, um, you know, applicable to, you know, what we do here at Maniology, but also the fact that we're also talking about community, building community and togetherness and kindness all together. So it says Peach Fun, Peach Fun, <laughs> Peach Fuzz offers a warm and cozy shade, creating a sense of sanctuary and calm. And it definitely does. I feel like I've pulled a few colors that are on the spectrum here. And I did swatch out a few. So if any of you are wondering, this is our beautiful, beautiful hand model. And this is a the manicure that's actually in the thumbnail. So if you didn't get to see, then I just wanted to kind of show. Ooh. <clears throat> the color really changed there. There you go. <laughs> Try not to move too much because that really went like cold. Oh, are we talking about ways to get better? Kimchi? I don't know. I was eating a lot of kimchi before I got sick. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, please go ahead and write down your uh, tips for getting well quick in the, the comments. I would love to read that. So anyway, this was the manicure I had done in the thumbnail. So if you guys wanted to see a close-up, that's what it looks like. And this is my hand model, Anna. Um, so I think that this color looks gorgeous on my hand model. And I love the, the manicure. What do you guys think? You can leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think. Okay. And so here... Uh, let's see. Here are the colors that I kind of went with and focused on. So now these colors are kind of <clears throat> within the realm of like an orangey pink. So, you know, some kind of go on the spectrum of coral, some kind of go on the spectrum of orange. But so this is... Buya, that's the swatch. I think it most closely resembles um, peach fuzz, like the actual color. Then I have carnation. I had to make sure. Carnation. This one I feel is like a little more orangey, but um, and it's brighter. But I think it definitely goes on that spectrum. Then I also have Hatha is darker but really really love this color very warm okay then these definitely go on the more corally corally color this i have hibiscus unfortunately hibiscus is another one of those colors that we do not have in stock and is currently discontinued but if you were a manny by me subscriber you may actually have this color the next one I have is Sunblaze. Oh, Sunblaze. So funny because I didn't think that that was going to happen with this color. The cap has been coming off of this color and I was like, oh, sure enough. Every time I pick it up, it's going to fall. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm doing this with Sunblaze because you can really see like the shimmers inside, which is so beautiful because I feel like you can't really see it on my swatch as opposed to the bottle. But again, a beautiful corally kind of peachy color. And then I went with Toko Toucan for the last color, which I know it doesn't have like the, I feel like it falls on the spectrum, but it definitely is darker, but I love it. So I'm going to use a few of these colors to create like a palette for you and we're going to see how we can go ahead and stamp this out so you know how you can use it, use the color peach fuzz throughout the year. Okay. See, this is what I was talking about. <laughs> Before I go on, let me get 
organized here because things just kind of got out of order for me. So, sorry, just give me a sec. Okay, I think I'm G. And if I'm not, we're just winging it. Okay, let me get my maniology lotus mat. So everything about this color that... And I would recommend if you're very interested in, you know, talking about how the color was selected, um, go to the Pantone, P-A-N-T-O-N-E dot com and take a look at the color. The description is really, really interesting because it kind of talks about, I, I guess, kind of like where, where we have been, you know, and last year's color was extremely vibrant. So I feel like it's, it's kind of a... a on a, we totally went on a different spectrum to something that's more calm and focuses on, I feel like, um, again, togetherness, love, focus on importance and community and coming together. And that's something that is a theme reiterated through the color itself. So <clears throat> if you guys agree, let me know. If you don't, let me know too. I don't work for Pantone, but... Um, that's how they kind of like describe the color. So moving forward, let me just go in a little. I have three tips here and I just painted, um, or rather went with a, a wedge here and did a light coat of white. Now you can think of this as a, um, like priming your nail. Um, whether you do it or not is, is completely up to you. Um, I'm going to be doing a gradient, actually two gradients today. So I figured it would just be an easier way for me to apply the color to the nail. So let's go ahead. The first one I wanted to do is I'm going to be doing kind of like a sweet kind of well, all of these honestly are kind of sweet, I guess. You know, I feel like that's kind of the reference I was going for. But I'm going to be using this, these three colors. So I have coconut here, hibiscus, and terracotta rose. I'm going to take a sponge here. <clears throat> and let me open up these bottles. Because I'm going to create a gradient and we're going to do a simple high um, butterfly wing. Yeah, I'm just going to take that off. It's crazy. Okay, so I'm going to start over here and do like a diagonal gradient. Sorry, T, I need to stay in frame. <laughs> so we're going to do a diagonal gradient. Next, I'm going to go in with hibiscus, which is like that mid color. It's OK if the colors overlap. You kind of want them to. And the last color we're going to go in is with the terracotta rose. Okay. Now off to the side, I'm just going to kind of blot a little and I'm going to now go in with my wedge here and I'm going to do that again. Definitely want more of like the coconut to come through. <laughs> I 
So I'm just repeating the process. It's so good, I can definitely smell, because I can smell the, <laughs> I can smell the um, nail polishes. So now I feel like we can definitely see more of the colors coming through. Okay, I'm gonna try and blend some of that white in a little bit more. Okay, so there. So now I'm gonna come in with just a black because I'm going to use this plate here which is m127 and i'm going to take this butterfly wing and i'm going to stamp it over the nail using straight up black So now, kind of lining it up. There you go. So I just wanted to see like a gradient coming through the butterfly wing. What do you guys think? Note to self, I know it's a new year. I need a new sticky stamper station. And when I do my lives, I just stick the tape over here on my skin. <laughs> So there's one, one look down using this really cool plate that has all these really beautiful butterfly wings. And now we're moving on. Which one do I want to do? Ah, let's stick with cute. Cute is, is good. Sweet, I think. My last look is going to look a little retro. Um... But the next design, I am going to go ahead and use M359, which is this beautiful terracotta plate. I'm just going to take some elements from it and create another um, look for you using this palette. So here I have Buttercup. This is Watermelon Float. And this is Booyah. I'm gonna do this the easy way because why not so here I have a wedge that I just cut and I'm gonna take Buya. what number is Buya? so I, I had mentioned Buya is um, actually discontinued we no longer have this color anymore but it's B210 if any of you actually have this color in your collection I know, Brent. It, actually, it's a bummer, I feel like, when we have any of the colors that we have to say goodbye to. <laughs> right, Dev? I know me and Dev feel the same way. We, we get too attached to some of these colors, for sure. And so when we have to say goodbye to them, it's like, what? Yeah. 
but you know we have to try and breathe new life into them you know we can't just have them being on our shelves and stuff um so the best way to say goodbye is to use them i guess right so there you go so i just took that color and i applied it to the nail And now taking this plate, I'm going to go in with custard and I'm going to, I think this one, I'm going to, um, it's like at this point is, yeah, you know, never mind. You realize how I'm working on this uh, surface that has no paper towel and only now I'm like, oh, I don't have it. I should probably put it down. Never mind already. T, never mind. It's not that important. <laughs> okay. So there. So Megan, as you can tell, somebody who has been with us for a long time, she's like, oh, yeah, I've noticed you're going to have fun cleaning your mat. Yep. Sometimes we just do things the hard way. <laughs> it's okay. That's what the mat is for, actually. I'm actually showing you exactly how it should be used. <laughs> so let's see. Let's go in and take some of these really fun, cute elements over here and just do some really cute abstract elements. Add that to the look. Isolate that. Let's see. Maybe I can stamp something there. And let's do another another thing. I'm gonna use this. And I saw a lot of you kind of getting into the conversation about like um, tips to make me feel better. I really appreciate it. I will definitely take a look at. Um, the comments when I am done here I've been uh, suffering in my own silence it's amazing to have little kids you know my son is the one who helped um, bring this cold <laughs> home and uh, he coughed right in my face and uh, I knew exactly exactly the moment I got sick so I love him, <laughs> but I'm not exactly happy. But I'm sure if any of you are parents or have young siblings or have definitely been there, I don't think um, this is new to you. <laughs> so alrighty, so I'm going to finish off this look. I'm just going to do like a little fun leaf there so it's fun i feel like this is like the main a main um a main eventer <laughs> the color being used here for peach fuzz you know whereas this is kind of like an, an accent like a background real subtle but these are the two looks so far i definitely liked how it came out and that's with m359 so many really cute elements from this plate. I love plates that are like that. I 
<laughs> kids are amazing petri dishes that's exactly yeah <laughs> That's what my doctor said too. I'm referring to um, Dai. It says, my mother-in-law always said young ones get seven colds the first seven years. Um, I'm sure my son has had more, <laughs> brought home more colds or got, has received more colds than that. And he's only five. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so we're moving on to our last palette. And this one definitely has like a a 60s kind of vibe to it I really love it so this is what we're the palette we're going for so it has kind of like a real retro feel but simple you know me I love a simple manicure so I have Honu which is this gorgeous gorgeous teal Hatha and Pasture so we're going to use that for our next look and the plate that I will be using is m330 which is again a retro plate definitely speaks to the the concept <clears throat> so taking my tip here um let's see i'm gonna go ahead and cut the, the tip here Um, I'm going to use pasture and I'm going to put color on to the sponge just like how I did the previous uh, color or the previous base. And if you're wondering why I do this, it helps to create a thin layer so everything dries really easily and I can just kind of move on with life. If you are doing this um, at home, you can definitely do the process yourself. I would just recommend putting a protective barrier around your nail so it's easier, it's easier to clean. So this is like a really, really soft kind of minty color. I'm going to repeat the process over again. there it just brings the color through a little more let's see Manuela and Marcel which glue do you recommend to add the nail tips onto the natural nail um actually for any of our nail tips we don't we don't um I use gel so that's what I'm using on these tips. Um, if you're using at home, I you could go to any drugstore. They have like nail glue um, or Sally's Beauty Supply, which has like a, a plethora of different brands that you could use um, or not. Double-sided sticky tape um, for like nail adhesion. We normally do have them on our site too. Um, so you can go check that out. Okay. So here, I'm going to be using this design. So I'm going to go in with half of the top. I'm going to blend these colors in. Now taking my scraper card, I'm just going to kind of go through and blend the colors as best as possible. Pick that up. There you go.
there you go that is the last design so using this these are the designs for today let me straighten them out a little yeah i didn't get the side over here but that's okay but what do you guys think can you see yourself using uh, peach fuzz this year? I think there's so many different ways, so many different shades that you could choose from um, for using this. If say, for instance, like the softer pastel colors are not your thing, you can definitely go with something that's darker um, or just something on the spectrum. I gave at least a decent amount of options. I'm almost sure that there's polishes that I totally forgot and spaced about, but yeah, check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Which uh, design do you like the best? One, two, or three? Let me know in the comments. But I think there are so many ways to use this new color of the year. I absolutely love it. It's definitely a color that I think looks great on me personally. Um, even though I personally am not into like pastel colors. But it doesn't have to be. So definitely. I think I like... I don't know. They all have a, a space. They all have a space. But I see two is definitely getting a lot of love. One and three. Nice. Okay. So there's different ways you can use it. You can use it as like a main feature. You can do it as like an accent. Um, yeah, let me know different ways that you would plan to use this. But... I wasn't expecting this uh, live to be so quick today. I know I said uh, fast manicures, but I mean, I love doing fast, quick, easy manicures as well. But um, let me see if I can find any questions here that I can. I saw Dev uh, respond about the nail glue that she said the Sally's is... Uh, she heard really good things about Sally's nail glue. So I can definitely check that out. It's been a hot minute since I've actually used nail glue, to be honest. <laughs> okay. So definitely, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. And again... Can't apologize enough for how stuffy I sound, but I hope that everything, um, you guys understood me well enough today. And thank you so much for sticking around. I really appreciate it. So let me know in the comments which one you, uh, which manicure you liked. And if you're planning to use peach was throughout the year, I hope you do and experiment because that's what nail art is all about. And um, I think that's all for today. You have anything, Dev? Let me know in the comments. I appreciate everybody's well wishes for me to get better. I am trying my hardest. I am on the elderberry train. I am, you know, every lozenge possible. I'm just going for it with the zinc and the vitamin C. So I think that's pretty much it. I appreciate eight, um, all of you being here. Thank you so much and have a wonderful Tuesday. We'll see you next week. Bye.